Hello babes, it's me, Shannon B for Brown Girl Bella. Back to bring more lips, lashes, and luxury. And today, it's another Sephora haul, y'all. Brown Girl Bella. Welcome back. If you're new, you know what to do. Hit that subscribe button and then don't forget to tap that notification bell so you're notified each and every time that I upload. For all those returning, welcome back. Yes, I finally got my last box from the Sephora VIB Rouge sale. I have to remember when I'm doing these to not pick the regular rouge shipping because I get my stuff after everybody else has already gotten their stuff, played with it, showed it on camera, all the good stuff. And so here we are again with the box late. But I digress. Let's look inside and see what goodies we got. Now, I'm just going to caveat this again and say that this year I was very, very, very disappointed in Sephora. A lot of the things that I had my eye on that I really wanted was out of stock. And they know the sale goes on. Company-wide, they should have been prepared for the onslaught and at least let the rouge go in like maybe a day or two early if you know your stock is going to be low and let them get what they needed to get so i don't know what i actually said i was going to get i have to go back and look and do a maybe i'll do a what i wanted versus what i got <laughs> so for all if you're interested in that let me know just thought of it on the top of my head but Truly, when you see the stuff, um, I don't remember talking about this. I do love Tatcha, and I was running out of some things from Tatcha. So I decided to get this box here, which contains the Deep Cleanse, the Water Cream, and the Silk Peony. Now, the Silk Peony is the one that I really and truly had my eye on. This eye cream is like the bee's knees. Like I tried a sample of it and I fell in love. So digging into the box. I have, looks like the deluxe size of the deep cleanse, which is okay because I just finished using a deep cleanse which was really, really big. And now I'm using the rice wash. So in between the rice wash, I will do the deep cleanse. Nice. Okay, this soap peony was the one that I was talking about. Let's see if I can pop it out. Okay. This little baby right here works for every skin type so if you're dry oily combination doesn't matter you can use this i would go in with a very light hand or use one of the spatulas from your water cream and just scoop it actually i would use this side because it's really really a powerful just use this side pat it underneath the eye and then what's left over, use your ring finger to complete patting it in until it is absorbed underneath the eye. You will be amazed how much brighter your skin under here will look. Um, it also minimizes wrinkles. It's, it's really, really good. But I really wanted to get the water cream and I was like, well, if I'm getting the water cream and they're bundled, let me just get the bundle. So that's how I remembered to use the Silk Peony. And then 
because I was running out, I did pick up another water cream by Tatcha. Love this stuff. It's really, really good. I actually, um, one year they had these decorative um, jars and I kept mine so I can put it in here whenever I run out. So I've been reusing this, washing it out, reusing it, washing it out again. So I will be putting this into this. And this was the gratitude size, so it's bigger. Unfortunately, I don't think they're doing that anymore. I love that idea of them doing that. Okay, FOMO hit me. And so I did pick up the Forever Couture Illuminizer. I've been hearing a lot of good things about this. This is in the shade Golden Glow. Let me open it up so you can see it. Instead of the like leather kind of cushioning here, they have like a patent leather. Really cute. I was looking at that flame. I was like, don't burn up back there. <laughs> don't burn up back there. All right, so here is the illuminizer. Let me take the plastic off so you can see it a little better. When I saw other people use it, I was like, yeah, I think I can get away with it. It's like a bake gelée formula. Here's what it looks like on the finger. Here's what it looks like on the skin. So it's not going to be like you can see me from Mars. But, you know, when you get a certain age, you don't need that. I mean, I still love my highlighters. You all know I do. But I didn't need all of that blinginess sometimes you know you want to be subdued especially if you're going to work y'all hear brooklyn right she thinks she bad because she got her hair done she's all groomed up i'll show her after we do um this unboxing okay i ran out of my 24 and someone else who's like my skin type has 22 and I was like hmm I always wanted to try 22 let me try it as a concealer so I did get the Pat McGrath's concealer in shade 22 so I'll be using this in the trying new makeup kind of thing even though this is not new it's new to me so we're going there then I also got, and I appreciate that it was bubble wrapped because you know how this flows sometimes. Uh, I still haven't recovered from the shock of my palette being totally destroyed on its root here. So now I'm being very, very cautious about uh, Pat McGrath stuff. So here is the... Um, palette that she released she released two of these blush with um a highlighter and this one that i got is because the highlighter is new so this is love struck which i already have paradise venus which i also already have and then venus nectar which is new and I wanted to get it for the Venus Nectar, but I also love these two shades as well. And I love to mix and match. So having them both here, plus the fact that I don't have to carry my blush makes it very, very appealing. I can just carry this and I'll be set if I am traveling. And then lastly, <laughs> again, FOMO. Uh, someone was raving about this. I can't remember who it was, but they were raving about how great this palette is. This is the Glam Face Palette by Natasha Denona. I will also use this in the trying new makeup haul. So I'm gonna probably do two of them because I have a lot of stuff. So, try to wipe off some of my fingerprints 
So here it is. I love the packaging. Really, really cute. Although it is a fingerprint magnet. <laughs> and then here we have five eye shades. Looks really, really cool. And these are not colors that are currently in her glam eye palette. So I appreciate that as well, that they're not duplicates. And then this cream blush, which is um, really, really stunning. I, when I saw it, I was like, I like that blush. That's a blush that I haven't, I don't think I have in my arsenal. So this is the cream blush. Oh my gosh, so soft. Here's what it looks like. It's almost like a terracotta. And here's what it looks like on the skin. I mean, it's it's stunning. It's really stunning. I like the star glow as well. This is the highlight. Look at that. My goodness. Let's put it here. It sits right there. Now that is blinging from the Himalayas. You know, just in case you want to try it. And then for the eye shade, she has an outer corner, a transition, a smoke, inner corner, and a crease. So you can use it like that, or you can be like Shannon, Miss Brooklyn. Seriously? Interrupting my video. I'll tell you, she thinks she, she thinks she fly. All right, you want to see everybody? Okay, fine. Fine, bitch. Here she is. Oh, look at the camera. You wanted to be on camera so bad. Look. There she is, all groomed up, looking like, you know, her ancestors from back in the day. All right. You happy now? You can go to sleep now? Okay. <laughs> so there's Brooklyn she had her moment of shine and then for the samples I got another little sample of <laughs> I got another sample of Joe Malone wood sage and sea salt I can never get enough of these I throw them in my bag as a bonus fragrance just in case I don't have one and I also got another one of the Amore Pacific Cleansing Powder and Exime Peel. Uh, I have now two of these. I haven't tried it yet, but I will be doing a trying on new skincare as well. So when I do that, I will um, use that and let you all know how it is. So yeah, Brooklyn's not gonna stop scratching and twinkling so let's just end it here i hope you enjoyed this video if you did give us a thumbs up it really helps this channel out a lot don't forget to subscribe if you haven't done so and then tap that notification bell so you're notified each and every time that i upload and until next time you have now been bellified You got to be on my neck. Huh? Huh? You got some splaining to do, Brooklyn.